Hello! Welcome to some of the small details you haven't seen in the new thing. First of all, fire on water. That's a big point. There's also another point over there which has fire and water. But this actually, this map actually takes place after Galactic Assault and the clones lose Galactic Assault. It doesn't explain for the fact on how the AATs and the NTTs randomly change color from brown and tan to the blue and gray, but, yeah. <laughs> they just randomly pop into existence being blue and gray, even the ones that were originally crashed just randomly turn into. But, the LAT crashed, and some parts I did not like about this is that there's no dead bodies anywhere near freaking the crashed MTT, the new crashed MTT, the new crashed LAT, the new crashed Juggernaut, no bodies. At least with the other ones down farther across the maps and the droid spawn, at least we could say, yeah, probably clones, clones are dead in there, but we can't see them because they didn't open up the doors when they died. <laughs> so we can't see them. So, yeah, but, but, when you destroy an AAT, in this new update, it turns from the blue and gray to tan. Just, just randomly turns to tan, even though there's no tan on it. You'll see it right now when this thing is destroyed, just tan, turns to tan. They also removed the uh, spider droid that you can shoot once and it would explode. I originally found this out. Well, not the original one who found this out, but probably other people found this out. But now that they, they also patched it so you can't see through the vendors and like the ships. Here's also another glitch. And there's a new turret model from the actual Clone Wars series. So yeah. That's what I just wanted to say. Just wanted to show you some new details you probably haven't seen in the new maps because you probably aren't paying attention to it but hey someone's paying attention to them and it's